All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I am doing the La Finito Burrito Challenge that was created by the Vegan Kitty. So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try. Things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishments of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I was challenged by joy from Be The Difference Clothing. And I am just so happy that I actually am seeing a challenge because she had told me a while ago that she had challenged me to a couple of different challenges. And I did write them down and I do still want to do them. But this one is a current one that she challenged me to. And I was like, yes, I'm going to do it because I feel so bad that I didn't do the other ones that she challenged me to because I didn't, I, I think I didn't see them or I don't know what happened, y'all. But anyway, so the, the, the challenge is that you have to um, eat a, a frozen burrito of your choice. So I got this. Um, it's a Sweet Earth, um, the Peruvian vegetarian burrito so it's got sa uh, Satan or Satan I don't know how you say it Satan maybe I want to say Satan because the other one sound crazy quinoa and sweet potato and it's got black beans and goat cheese and corn and spir spir spirulina okay um yeah so you gotta eat a burrito the time to beat was two minutes and 19 seconds so I do have a timer going on right here and yeah um let me see because this might be now I'm about to get into the challenge. I think maybe I've let it sit long enough, hopefully, to where I don't burn my mouth. Um, yeah, I've never had, I've had Sweet Earth products before, um, but haven't had this three or four, and so hopefully it's good. All right. All right, y'all ready? And go. Okay. I definitely don't look like the picture. <clears throat> I thought it was so good. Mm. 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 It's like it's kind of like though. Mm. Mm, I forgot. Sorry. One of the rules was that you wasn't supposed to open this until after the timer started. Listen, I was right in the nick of time, and probably if I would start talking, I'd probably would finish, but sooner. But um, I took out the package because I, I put it in the air fryer so that like the, the tortilla part would be a little crunchy, and then I put it in the microwave and cooked it the rest of the way. So, my apologies, you are supposed to um, not open the burrito until after you start your timer. You can drink. And again, just the, the no specific burrito that you have to get. You just got to finish it in, under the time that it took her to finish her. Her being the vegan kitty. All right. 
And that was really good though. Like I said, it didn't look nothing like the picture, but it had really good flavor though. Mm, I would get it again. Oh, I, I like sweet earth stuff. I had like some um like vegan bacon from them before and it was, it was really, actually really good. Um, I'm gonna tag uh, excuse me, by your kitchen guy, the silent challenge killer. Um, I'm gonna tag uh was gonna say TMV Nation and I am going to tag um I had all these people. Oh, more eats. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, while my burrito is cooling down, I'm going to try these um, bunion chips. I told you I was going to get these. And um, I'm going to follow suit with the vegan kitty because she did a review at the end of her video. So I'm going to um, just taste these, which will be at the end of this video. <laughs> I say I watched the video with Xena. And first of all, she had this sub and it was so dang on good. It looked, or, well, I'm sure she thought it was good, but it looked so good. It was nice and juicy and just had, it was a spicy Italian. It had like, all, the veggies looked so fresh and perfectly picked. Um, she had um, freaking jalapenos on there. Now, the only thing I wouldn't eat is the olives. I don't, I don't really rock with olives of any kind, but listen, that dango sub looks so good. Anyway, all right, so these are the fun. And maybe my taste buds is messed up because she said that she could taste like the Cheetos. She could taste the Funyuns on these. Um, I, I can't I, I can't recall what she thought about the Dorito ones, but I could not taste. I didn't taste like the Cheeto on that Lay's at all. But anyway, mm. but I definitely taste the fun. I do taste the Funyuns on these. Mm-hmm. Yes. Even with it being a Ruffles Lay's or a Ruffles or oh she said that's why she said it tastes like a Ruffles Funyun. Girl, I thought look, the Xena had lost it. She said Ruffles, I said ain't that what they is? No, they're wavy lays. She said they taste like a Ruffles Funyun. Agreed. Really good. Now, why y'all this big old bag and the chip down here? Um, <laughs> let me see if I if I save this. I usually post like funny me funny food memes on my Instagram page. But if I remember, I put this one in here. But it was a little bites, like you know, them little muffins. It was a truck carrying little bites, and it said it probably only had 26 muffins in the whole truck. <laughs> They're not wrong. They're not wrong, because them dang on muff like they so small, you only get like two or three in the bag. Now, I'm going to somebody like tweeted them or something and was like, you know, why y'all only put that many in the bag? And they're like, they're truly meant to be a snack or something like that. I don't know, but. They definitely need to put more in the bag and quit playing. So, anywho, I forgot that I um, had bought these last time in the store. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, I need to do, like, you know, a couple videos, honestly. Uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got the challenge. I got another challenge. I was chatted by Soulful East to do Marquise Hilson's Brussels sprout, Brussels sprout Challenge show. I might end up doing three videos tomorrow. We'll see. If time permits. Mm. Wow, these are really good. Um, baby. Let me tell you that Funyuns, like, them was my chips. Samantha, my sister, was a, I think she was, a, she was like a Cheeto. She definitely was a Cheeto. I ate Cheetos too, but I like the, the paws, the puff paws. Um, and she always loved, like, the crunchy ones or whatever. And then I think we both ate Doritos, but more so Funyuns was my thing. Funyuns and Flamin' Hots, that was my jam. Okay? All right, anywho. 
All right, and that's it. And that's all, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let some things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.